Hi, good day to everyone. Now let's talk about some basic concepts behind environmental protection, specifically the forest protection, conservation, and development. First, let us define what is forest. So forest comes from the Latin word forest and forestis, which means outdoor and open grounds respectively. It is also an area or community with presence of dense tree cover. And according to the definition of DNR Memorandum Circular 2005-05, it is a land area with more than 0.5 hectare and having more than 10% tree crown cover. Tree crown cover means the area occupied by the leaves of the tree. According to Hence 1998, it is an ecosystem of tree cover with different species composition, structure, age class, associated processes, and which commonly include meadows, streams, fish, and wildlife. We have also other terms to know that you might be encountered in your future readings. Read the definition only. When we talk about forest protection, conservation, and development, it is the holistic management which means the inclusion of all components of the natural resources. It is the management system that associates with the flora or fauna or the plants and animals including human beings. It is very important because we want to have benefits from forests such as environmental goods and services and also for the sustainable development, not just for today, but also for the next generations. Why do we need to protect our forests? It is simply because of the declining number of forest areas all throughout the globe. As reported by food and agriculture organizations, there is a rapid rate of deforestation and leads to the decrease of primary old growth forests. And also in the Philippine context, it was also observed that available forest cover is declining, which tends to call up the attention of the government for urgent rehabilitation. So, what are the impacts of declining forest cover? It contributes to the climate change, severe drought, occurrences of super typhoons. It increases greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, occurrences of soil erosion and landslide, loss of habitat and extinction of wildlife, flash flood in urban areas, reduced land productivity leads to fewer crop and food scarcity, and the last is social conflict. Because of those threats brought by declining forest cover, which lead to the degradation of human development, the non-government organization or NGO, like United Nations, created Millennium Development Goals, or MDG, to prioritize the needs for uplifting human development. And also, it was incorporated in the list of goals about the importance and role of forest in the natural environment. So in goal number one, it states to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Forest comes into play which provide land productivity and provision of water to agricultural lands to produce high-valued crop for consumptions. And also, forests provide environmental goods and services of which will create an avenue for income generating livelihoods. For goal number seven, it states that ensure environmental sustainability. This statement includes the importance of environmental sustainability, the aesthetic value and other environmental components that support the human development. 
forests protect the biological diversity, as well as they provide quality and quantity source of water for domestic use. They also conserve soils, prevent flooding, serve as carbon sink, which cleanses the atmosphere and protect coastal and marine resources. So these are some of how forests significant in relation to ecology and economic aspects. Forest protects and conserves the soil by supporting the continuous cycling of nutrients within the soil environment. They reduce the surface runoff and sedimentation by holding soil and water particles. They also provide water for other organisms by decreasing the rate of evaporation. Forest also protects our watershed areas. This includes the river, lakes, drainage canals, and other water bodies found in upland setting. They collect rainwaters and store it underground to the aquifers. They also support the sustainability of hydroelectric power generation for commercial and domestic purposes. Forest also mitigates the negative impact of flooding by absorbing portion of rainwater. The presence of forest also reduces the surrounding air temperature, which can make us feel cool and refreshing other than in open areas. Forest serves as the home for wildlife, which provides ecological and economic importance for humans. It is a terrestrial ecosystem that supports the interconnection of food chain and food web. The degradation of forest ecosystem leads to declining number of wildlife and, in worst, extinction of other species. Forests also are homes of some of the indigenous people that they protect them because they considered forests as a life support system. Forests fight pollution by trapping air pollutants in their leaves such as dust. They, this action minimizes of having health problems, which leads to complications and even fatality. Forests are an also great sound insulator that minimizes noise pollution from public vehicles. Also, they serve as carbon sink, which absorb greenhouse gases from the atmosphere and provide oxygen for living organisms. Forests provide some of the remedies for common health disorders and diseases. It is, it is usually cheaper than the synthetic and commercialized medicines. These are also served as the source of ingredients in some of the synthetic medicines. Now, let's talk about some existing policies that promote the protection and conservation of forests and natural resources for sustainable development. Republic Act 8749, known as Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999. This act providing for a comprehensive air pollution control policy and for other purposes. RA 9275, known as Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004. This is a provision of protection, preservation, and revival of the quality of fresh, brackish, and marine waters. RA 9003 known as the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000, an act providing for an ecological solid waste management program creating the necessary institutional mechanisms and incentives, declaring certain acts prohibited and providing penalties appropriating funds therefore and for other purposes. RA 7586 known as the National Integrated Protected Area System Act of 1992, an act providing for the establishment and management of National Integrated Protected Area System, defining its scope and coverage and for other purposes. RA 9147, known as the Wildlife Resources Conservation and Protection Act, an act providing for the conservation and protection of wildlife resources and their habitats appropriating funds, therefore, and for other purposes. 
DNR Administrative Order 2017-11 Updated National List of Threatened Philippine Plants Under Categories DAO 2019-09 Updated National List of Threatened Philippine Fauna Under Categories RA-9175 Known as the Chainsaw Act of 2002 An act regulating the ownership position, sale, importation, and use of chainsaws Penalizing violation thereof for other purposes RA-7076 Known as the People's Small Scale Mining Act of 1991 an act creating a people's small-scale mining program for other purposes. According to RA 8044, youth refers to a person with age from 15 to 30 years old. They constitute a large percentage in the population. A code says that youth are the backbone of the nation. Youth usually live longer. The experiences some of the environmental consequences. They are vital because they can play an active role in the protection of the environment. These are some of your contribution to environmental protection and management. At your home, close running tap water when not needed. Turn off lights and saving electricity as much as possible. Discourage single-use plastics. Use eco-friendly bags, food, and water containers. Segregating solid waste from biodegradable to recycling material. Recycling papers, plastics, glass, and metals for local junk shop to be utilized. Creation of compost pit for biodegradable materials. Avoid burning of liters trash, and other combustible substances. Discourage illegal collection of forest animals and plants. Minimize the utilization of combustion engine vehicles. At your school or institution, extension programs and volunteerism in community development. Clean up drive and buy a nihan. Join information drives in promoting environmental dates. These are the environmental dates. World Wildlife Day, March 3. International Day of Action for Rivers, March 14. Okay. International Day of Forests, March 21. World Water Day, March 22. Earth Day, April 22. International Day for Biodiversity, May 22. Environmental Month, June. World Environment Day, June 5. World Oceans Day, June 8. International Climate Change Day, June 21. World Rainforest Day, June 22. World Habitat Day, first Monday of October. World Animal Day, October 4. World Food Day, October 16. Nursery Establishment, Forest Nursery. An area where young forests, trees, and other plants are grown for planting. Place for raising good young trees, which are then planted out where they are to grow. Youth can develop a small forest nursery, which can be done by group or by individual. Providing manpower to an existing forest nursery could be a good help. Things to be considered Seeds and water supply Size and ownership of the area Location Accessibility Topography Ground cover Soil condition Tree planting and growing If you have healthy and vigorous seedlings already, you may now do tree planting and growing to the designated area. Remember to remove the polyethylene or plastic bags to enable fast growth. Make sure to provide enough hole for the seedling and cover it with soil. Do tree brushing and weeding when needed. 
This enables the three seedlings to avoid nutrient competition with unnecessary plants. Proper disposal of solid waste. Waste management includes the activities and action required to manage waste from its inception to its final disposal. Collection, transport, treatment, and disposal of waste together with monitoring and regulation of the waste management process. Benefits of proper waste disposal Recyclable materials can be converted to cash which provide income and employment, reduce infestation of pests, reduce risk to overall health, reduces the size of our landfills. It also helps conserve and protect the surrounding environment. Policy trust involving youth in environmental conservation and development. RA 9163 or the National Service Training Program, NSTP Act of 2001. Civic Welfare Training Service or the CWTS refers to the programs or the activities contributory to the general welfare of the betterment of life for the members of the community or the enhancement of its facilities, especially those devoted to improving health, education, environment, entrepreneurship, safety, recreation, and morals of the citizens' RA 8044, known as the Youth Nation Building Act. In Section 2, Encouragement of Youth Involvement in Character Building and development of activities for civic efficiency, stewardship of natural resources, agricultural and industrial productivity, and an understanding of world economic commitments and tariffs and trade and participation in structure for policy making and program implementation to reduce the incidence of poverty and accelerate social economic development. Executive Order 23, Series of 2011, or the National Greening Program. On Section 3, that's 1.1, all students identified by the Dep Ed and CHED and all government employees shall be individually required to plant a minimum of 10 seedlings per year in areas determined by the Convergence Initiative. Private sectors and civic society groups shall likewise be encouraged to participate in the NGP program. Thank you for listening and hope you'll learn something. Please apply it to your daily living. Have a good day!